let me welcome you to today's episode. Six hundred fifty CC bike, six positions. Hi guys, this is RRR Refuel Ride Race channel and welcome to another test ride. This time Kawasaki Z750. This is uh, from the 2006 and uh, as you see in this orange color I think that it looks uh, quite aggressive. So uh, this is uh, the first generation of the Z750 and uh, as you already saw it has some additional uh, gadgets on so some aftermarket parts I can say and uh, this is uh, this handlebar sport or let's say racing levers and uh, also it has uh, frame sliders it has also the aftermarket exhaust that sounds really great this is this MIV M -I -V -V exhaust so made in Italy and uh, it is a four cylinder bike uh, with a 750 cc engine it is liquid cooled it is uh, fuel injected we have to mention this uh, double disc at the front 300 millimeters two piston calipers tokiko and uh, single disc at the rear this one has 110 horsepower producing the peak power at uh, 11,000 rpms and uh, a very interesting thing it's the torque on this one it has uh, 75 newton meters of torque producing it at uh, 7,800 rpm so not so high we have to say it not so high for a 750 four cylinder bike so here is the dash you see the Tahoe and here the digital speedo I mean everything is digital and uh, this one has also the immobilizer here and also the gear indicator this bike feels very compact but in reality it's uh, very comfortable I mean uh, the seat it's uh, soft so uh, you feel that uh, you could go very far with this seat I mean uh, in terms of kilometers and hours on the seats okay guys here we are on a Kawasaki Z750 and my first thoughts are that this is a very very manageable bike it has the right amount of power and the power delivery is just progressive so even if you twist the throttle a little bit more than you thought previously it uh, doesn't scare you so uh, the throttle delivery it's perfect the power it's also perfect I wouldn't consider this bike as a first bike but uh, as a second it is just fine I think so uh, the throttle it's not jerky uh, it's uh, just the right one and uh, you feel very quickly like at home on this bike so uh, everything it's uh, really uh, on the right place so the riding position it's very nice this is the 
aftermarket handlebar but I think that also the stock one would be nice so uh, my legs are not cramped and uh, I feel very very uh, comfortable on this bike uh, so uh, maybe a little bit uh, too much on my wrists but uh, this is just me so uh, if you are used to ride uh, naked bikes I think that you will also like this one the mirrors are fine uh, you can see clearly what is happening behind uh, just uh, I have to say that uh, maybe I have a feel that they are too close the clutch engages just uh, somewhere in the middle and it's not heavy so this is a plus and uh, this bike this bike feels very nimble I have to say even though it's uh, more than 200 kilos uh, when the fuel tank is full uh, when you go into the twisties you don't have a feel that uh, this bike is heavy I think that my knees are just slightly bent but uh, this is uh, a very common thing on almost uh, every naked because I am 6 foot 1 or 185 centimeters tall The gear indicator works nicely and uh, the dash is just perfect. You have all the information you need, so uh, don't have to say anything more regarding this. This bike is without ABS, uh, without traction control, so uh, it is a pure old school naked, I can say it. Let's go! So the power is just right when you push it it quickly gets to the very high speeds uh, so this engine has uh, the peak torque at uh, 7800 rpms and the maximum power of this bike that is 110 horsepower it's uh, reachable at uh, 11,000 rpms so uh, I think that uh, this bike it's uh, pretty manageable on the road and it's enough for the road so uh, more than enough for any kind of uh, rider yeah the brakes are not so efficient that I thought but uh, still for a 2006 bike, I think that they are okay. Could have a little bit more power. It's not that they are bad, but uh, when braking hard, I think that uh, they should be a little bit more powerful. That's all. The engine has a right pull. It sounds very nicely. And uh, I think that uh, if you just prefer the four-cylinder bikes, you're gonna love this one. This bike, it's uh, without vibes, uh, I mean till 8000 RPMs, there were no particular vibes. Even though this is a four-cylinder screamer, it has enough torque even down low. So uh, there is no need to change gears so often when riding in uh, the traffic so this is a big plus I can confirm this one those of you who think that 110 horsepower are not enough keep this bike over 8000 revs and you will see that it pulls like a rocket 
I don't know how effective it's this screen, but I have to say that uh, there is no turbulence on my helmet and uh, this is a good thing. The fuel consumption this bike consumes around 5 liters, would say a bit more, uh, but uh, you can ride it also easily and uh, on lower speeds uh, that way uh, you would uh, get uh, I think very good results the gearbox just works perfectly you insert every gear with such an ease so uh, it's slick it's a Kawasaki gearbox uh, and uh, it's uh, let's say a common thing a normal thing I hope that uh, the rain will stop soon because it's not very nice to ride a bike without traction control and uh, without ABS uh, in the rain especially if it's not yours riding 100 per hour in 6 it is uh, 4600 revs I think so uh, this engine, uh, it's not so stressed, uh, it feels right, it uh, can also cruise very very easily. About the suspension at the front, it's not adjustable, but uh, at the rear you have the possibility to adjust the preload and uh, rebound. This uh, suspension feels uh, adequate. This one screams like crazy. three pros and three cons guys the first pro it's the engine it really works very very nicely and it's progressive and it's without vibes so this is the first pro the second pro it's the seat the seats it's very comfortable and it's soft you can see it so I think that I could resist for hours on this seat and the third pro it's uh, the stability and the chases i mean the ride as a whole of this bike it feels very very planted and uh, you just have a feel that uh, you can uh, go faster and uh, that you can lean more three cons the first con it's uh, the riding position but just the riding position according to the wrists so uh, this one already has the riser but uh, it's still too much on the wrist for me maybe this is just me but i feel so the second con it's the thing that this one it's without abs and traction control uh, abs i think it's a must the third con are the brakes i think that this bike should have better brakes this is a legendary Kawasaki 750 in orange color I hope that you enjoyed please give me a favor and subscribe and till the next one